It is Saturday, the 3rd of August, 2024, and wow, time is flying. I can't believe we're already working our way through August. It feels like July didn't even happen. It's just been, it's been crazy. So it's Saturday, and uh, it's been such a busy week, as I keep mentioning. That's the story of my life, right? I have a really busy life, always have, and so that just, it tends to be a theme that I'm always feeling like I'm running from thing to thing. Well, today I got a little bit of time to chill. Originally tonight, we were supposed to go out and record Los Prixes, which are going to be playing at La Esquina here in Leon, but at the last minute, uh, the person I was meeting who um, is not actually in the band, but they want to do a podcast with me in Chinandega, and they were going to be meeting me there. And so we were going to, it was, we were putting a bunch of things together and we were really pushing to go out. Dominic and I were both pretty tired, but Dominic was actually in the shower, like getting ready. And he said, Oh, he lost his babysitter. He wasn't going to be able to go. And so I was like, I talked to Dominic and I'm like, we could still go. Um, but we've been so busy. I don't know. And she's like, well, we can go if you want to. And we're both kind of doing the introvert. Like we need to just get some time to recharge kind of thing. So we ended up not going out, which was very nice. We ended up just staying home. The kids just wanted regular spaghetti, well, angel hair with my wife's spaghetti sauce. And so we just had this really simple day of like, let's chill at home and, and ended up being a full day. So that was at night, but that would, the entire day ended up being a, I never even got in the car the entire day, which was just fantastic. And we are, uh, so I, I pretty much spent the day uh, either in the office editing videos or out doing a little bit of recording, uh, but didn't want to, I didn't, I mean, I kind of wanted to go for a walk, but I didn't want to like leave. I just needed some time to, to recharge and get some editing done and catch up on some things and, and just feel good about doing stuff. So, so I spent a whole bunch of time in the office, um, doing video editing, that was fantastic. Doing great with that. Feeling good about it. Just had it. It was just a very nice chance to relax for the most part and got a ton of stuff recorded and uploaded and managed. Now, the one thing that did happen this morning, but this was pretty chill, uh, is they did come and fumigate our house and, and uh, the yard. So they actually fumigate the yard uh, and then they spray the house. It's, it's basically, you know, a standard pest control treatment. But here they tend to do it via fumigation, whereas in the States you tend to do it with sprays and different things. So they did that this morning and that takes about an hour and a half because because it takes them a little while to do it. But then once they're done, you leave the house closed up. Obviously, you take the people and the dogs out and you cover all the things. And uh, and we just wait outside. So we sat outside for like an hour with the kids and the animals and just hung out while you wait for this stuff to get all through the house. And after it sat for a while, you run through holding your breath and open up the doors and windows uh, and let it air out for a really long time. Now, my office, I don't do that with. I close that all up, shut off the air conditioning, shut off the computers and turn anything with a fan off and let it just sit. Uh, and, and I really don't get bugs in my office. You clean it. You, it's a small area. It's all tile. There's nothing in there's no food in there or anything. So I really don't get insects, uh, ever. Like, like it's not a thing. I don't have ants or anything like that. So it's fine. It doesn't need to be fumigated, but the rest of the house we let get really deep. And so we had to run around this morning. I did a little bit of cleaning in my office, even though my office doesn't get fumigated and we keep all the doors closed, dust can seep in. So I, every single camera, every single lens goes into sealed plastic to make sure that it's, it's ready for this. You shut it still shut off the computers and air conditioning just in case it sucks anything in. Uh, but the rest of the house, it doesn't really matter. So, uh, that, so that was a bit this morning. That's the only disruption of, other than that, just home and chill all day. Dominica made bagel, egg and cheese sandwiches for lunch and pasta for dinner. Um, I ordered in some jugoso uh, batidas, the, the smoothies, fruit smoothies for the family. So we all had kind of a healthy snack uh, in the middle of the afternoon. We ordered that while we were waiting for the, the fumigation. Um, and then uh, just lots of uploads while I was having dinner, I spent a couple hours watching third rock from the sun with Liesel. It's the sitcom that she and I've been watching for a little while. We took a little bit of a break just cause we've been busy, but we sat down and she really is enjoying it. And of course we always like watching shows together, but she's really liking that sitcom. And it's one of my favorites. Uh, it's from the nineties. So it was when I was like a high schooler, um, or, or even in college and after college, like depending on how far into the season you are. And it's John Lithgow star starring in it, which is cool because he's a great actor and really funny, but also he's from my hometown of Rochester, New York, and he grew up in Akron, Ohio, which is more or less where my, my whole family is from, where my parents grew up, the Canton area, but it's Canton, Akron, right? It's basically one place. And uh, so very uh, geographically connected and, and culturally connected uh, with that. And of course, the show takes place in Ohio, which is where my family is from. And uh, 
Uh, so that was fun. We did that and hung out. And then I just worked on uploads uh, and took it easy. So it was nice to get some time to relax. It was nice to get some time to get things done. So I'm feeling a bit more recharged after uh, today. And I'm definitely feeling good about the videos we have up. I have a new Nika Roomba is up, which turned out pretty well. I'm still trying to figure out why first segments of the videos for the concerts have amazing sound. And then they get warpy in the second portions, even though they're being recorded with the exact same gear in the exact same setting, just turning them off and back on again. Why are the first first one's always good and the second one's always bad like I can't figure out what's going on I don't know if the if the microphone is being moved because I, I get cocky and go oh it should be higher and then it's at a spot where it's getting like like uh, resonance in the room and we don't realize it or something I'm trying to figure some of that out um, I'm not sure what's happening there but uh, uh, that turned out pretty well I think I'm, I'm very happy with uh that video, that's two or three, there's really three really good Nika Roombas that we've done now, but I have one I haven't posted yet from Monty from last week. Uh, I did that, I got I got this show completely up to date. I got um, my, my main vlog, I'm doing really well, and I'm starting to get a few extra things done as well. So it's a good day and I feel good overall. Uh, and then tomorrow we actually don't, as far as I know, have anything planned either. Uh, it's gonna be a busy week again, but having the whole weekend to relax is pretty nice and not something we get all that often. We did have uh, tonight, a real late at night, about 1230, a huge rainstorm came down, which was really surprising, but we did not lose the bird bath. It is so close to keeling over, uh, but it has managed to hold on even through a huge storm tonight. So I was surprised by that, but yeah, we lost power for just a couple minutes, well, maybe two minutes tops in the middle of the night. Uh, but I was up late uh, working and doing my Duolingo and connections with the kids and all that. And that's about it. So see you guys tomorrow.